the villains have arrived, man. Let's go. I knew it was going to be next episode. I, well, at least I figured it was, you know, halfway through when we got to see the villains for the first time. But it, for sure, it's in our face. It's right here. It's now. The villains are here. And I'm freaking so happy. You know, I'm so freaking happy that they did not, you know, stretch this out any longer. I'm ready. I'm hyped. I want to, you know, want to see some of that Studio Bones animation, that quality, man. But um, just before we really dive into this episode, I really want to talk about the last episode really quick here. And the point they made about these kids, you know, Class A's quirks have not increased. They have not gotten stronger, barely at all. I mean, Bakugo threw that one ball about three more meters, four more meters, whatever it was. Four or five, somewhere right around there, you know, between three and five. But um, they've only been stronger, you know, mentally. They've learned how to fight, basically. They have not strengthened themselves, you know truly strengthen themselves i mean deku obviously is the only, only one that i would say has truly strengthened him you know himself i mean let's just look at his physical capabilities now um compared to what they were right so we got to put that into perspective but even then i mean he's only like at like five percent of his quirks so i mean he has a long 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 way to go right and i mean just look how strong he is now since we do know that his quirk is you know every time it gets handed down it's stronger and stronger so now, whenever I look at, you know, how they broke down and said, quirks are like muscle fibers, you know, when you're lifting weights, you tear down your muscle fibers, you literally tear them apart, and then they, you know, they build back, you know, they build themselves back up to be stronger, bigger, and better, basically, and a quirk's the same way, and I do like how they broke that down, you know, so it's basically working yourself to, to the bone, you know, to the brink of just total exhaustion, and that's how you're going to, you know, improve your quirk the most, and I guess the most drastic way to do it per se you know in order the best way you know so that's pretty cool I like how they broke that down that's you know great details great details about quirks but at the same time i do want to add this you know this little tidbit in really quick if we look at that you know their power standpoint and how they've not really they're basically noobs in term of you know in terms of their power so, i mean bakugo todoroki deku i mean their potential is unreal i just want to point that out but maybe on to the next thing here um I thought it was hilarious whenever they were talking about the stew, and they're like, you know, if I got served this in a restaurant, well, I'd be pissed. But in this case, and someone's like, that's rude, don't say that. <laughs> it's just like, they work so hard, and Ethan tried so hard for him to, you know, work together and get this shit done. To where it just makes me laugh my ass off. It's just like, damn, desperation. I love the emphasis on desperation there, you know, like the indirect emphasis per se. But I, I mean, I guess you could kind of say it's direct, not necessarily indirect. But uh, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty straightforward, I guess. When you actually look at it. But um, we do get to see the Coda scene and find out why he does hate. You know, he doesn't hate heroes or villains. He just hates quirks in general because he's disgusted of, of how they're used, per se. And maybe that, you know, he means that in the sense of just hurting people in general. He hates that. It pisses them off, you know. He hates that people use their quirks to these powers that they are given, you know, from up, you know, on high, per se. And they use them for to hurt people. I mean, at the end of the day, hurting people is hurting people, sure. Whether you're doing it for the right and the wrong reasons, sure. But at the end of the day, it still is hurting people. I mean, there's there's a morally correct, you know, I guess kind of way to where people can hurt people, and there's a morally incorrect, right? So, but at the, at the end of the day, whenever you've lived through what Coda has at such a young age, you know what I mean? He's in prime time. I need my parents. Like, I am 5, 10, 8. I need, you know, he was probably like 10. I need my parents. I need my mom and dad, you know. So that's something that you got to think about. And I love the thing about the more you reject something, the worse it's going to get. And I think you could really go into a lot of different things when you look at that. I mean, like, yes, maybe I don't like something someone says to me. And I keep rejecting those words. I keep rejecting them. Just like, no, 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 F that. You know, no, no, forget about that. Screw that. It's going to make it worse. I have to be willing to accept those words and evaluate that situation and then go to where I want. But if I just simply reject it, it's going to hurt worse. You know, if you're just going to, you know, it's like getting just rejected in general. If you're going to reject, let's say you want to be with somebody, you know, let's say you want to be in a relationship per se. And you both want the same thing, but you're rejecting it. You're saying, no, I think it's just better this way. You're, you're just rejecting, even though you want it. It's going to be worse to try to get over it. I mean, that's something that, you know, just think about that. I guess that's the best example I could give you other than the one I, you know, I just did, which I can't remember what that was. Yeah, I got short-term memory to leave me alone. So, <laughs> but uh, the ending, once again, I loved it. And I think that's really everything I needed to cover for this video. But, um, yeah, what do you guys think of this episode of My Hero Academia? I mean, the, the League of Villains is here, man. The League of Villains is here, but... 
But All Might is not, which frustrates me. But I'm ready to see, you know, Deku go all out again, you know. And I lo do love the tidbit where Todoroki's like, sometimes you got to show them action. You know, a stranger needs to show what they're made out of. They need to show their determination. They need to show their resolve, not just say it. Prove to me physically and or visually that you mean what you say. And obviously, we, in the opening, we kind of get to see that's what's going to be going on with Deku. And we get to see that he's protecting, you know, Koda in the opening and the, the trailer we got a while back. So, But I love this opening. I got to say, the more I watch it, the more I love it. You see Deku powering up. And the next scene, freaking All Might's powering up, dude. Oh, I love it. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.